let me just say this our next guest who is joining us right now kaiser white the mike linebacker of course for your arizona cardinals joining us right now kaiser what is the best thing about going and playing at west virginia university Oh, man, the fan base, man. I think it's the best fan base in the country. Um, you know, they treat us like uh, professional athletes up there. Um, you know, the whole city comes out. And, you know, they're just passionate, man. Like, it's, it's like literally the best thing I've ever been a part of. Is it Kaiser, when you play at West Virginia, is it tough to play in the shadows of Iran Wolfley everywhere you go? Oh, you yeah, gotta, man, gotta, of course. Man. What you type gotta... of question is that? Of course. <laughs> man. Stop it. He set the, he set the standard, Stop man. Come it. on now. Hey, by the way, though, I got to tell you, Kaiser, Stone Vaughn, Stone Wolfley says hello to you, big guy. Tell my guy, I said, what's up, man? I will, That's my guy man. right there. Hey, Kaiser, the, uh, so the Bengals are coming to town, and – We've been talking all day about th- this is a team that was expected, and maybe they still will at the end of the day, uh, you know, compete for an AFC championship as, as one of the better teams in that conference. But mm-hmm. as you know, uh, they're struggling right now offensively, and they got a 1-3 and three record. What are you seeing on film out of this football team? And I, I know you know that they're still dangerous. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, um, yeah, definitely, what's going on? Yeah, definitely not going to take them lightly. Um, you know, they got – a hell of a quarterback in Burrow. Um, you know, Chase is a great receiver. Higgins, um, you know, even though he's banged up right now and don't really know the status on him. Uh, Mixon, I think, is a, is a great running back. Um, so, yeah, definitely don't want to take them uh, lightly. They're dangerous. They got playmakers all the way across the board. You know, they've been in the AFC Championship game last year than the year before in the Super Bowl. So, you know, they know what it takes to win. So, um, this is definitely going to be a, a great game to uh, play in, and I'm, I'm excited, uh, you know, for the challenge. Yeah, guys, here, let's get down in the weeds right now shall we as you're watching as you're watching tape on the Bengals, what are you seeing from their offense what are what are the personnel groups they like to use when do they like to use them what kind of plays how would you characterize this offense guys here oh um, i think i think they're a, a, an offense that could uh, score you know they like to play in 11 personnel a lot um like i said man they dangerous all the way across the board uh burrow definitely wants to get uh you know chase going and, uh, you know, mix it in with some run game with mixing and get him going a little bit. So, you know, I feel like they're uh, really well balanced all the way across the board. Hey, Kaiser, what's the mentality right now, the disposition of your defense? Because I, there's, there's a lot of talent still. There's a lot of pride. I, I know it had to be a tough film session because you guys just could not stop the 49ers on Sunday. What, what, what was it? What's, what's this week been like? What was it like trying to get better? What was going on last Sunday, and how do you guys learn from that, you know, to make sure that the improvement continues and you guys are come out of that a better football team going forward? Um, JG, you know, he preaches, uh, you know, taking that. His big thing is taking the arrow right to the forehead, meaning, you know, um, you know, just take our problems straight on. You know, don't don't try to, um, you know, duck, you know, the, the obvious. So, yeah, coming in the film, um, you know, we heard stuff we needed to hear. It uh, wasn't to the standard. It uh, wasn't good enough. Didn't play hard enough. Didn't create any turnovers. Um, and, you know, we didn't stop them. So, um, you know, coming out this week, we obviously want some get back and, uh, you know, want to show ourselves um, and also everybody else that, uh, you know, that team they seen last week on film is not our identity. And, uh, you know, sometimes that happens. But, you know, obviously we want to limit that as much as possible and, uh, you know, um, just come out there um, on Sunday, you know, just full-fledged football, man, play hard, play physical, create turnovers, and just play with a lot of energy. Based on audience, we are talking to my guy and former Mountaineer, Kaiser White, here on the Wolf and Luke Show. Give me one thing you guys are going to have to do well if you're going to win. If you're going to win on defense, and I'm just talking about you specifically, with your defensive group, what is the one thing that you've got to do well? Uh, I think it's multiple things, but one thing I'm gonna say, uh, we gotta create uh, turnovers, man. We gotta we gotta create them turnovers, man. Uh, you know when when you take the ball away, and uh, you know the offense has been doing a great job protecting the ball. I feel like we'll be a hard team to beat. So I feel like we go out there and take that ball away. I feel like we'll come away with a W for sure. Have you done a good enough job of that so far this year? Do you believe, Kaiser? Um, it can always be better. Um, I don't think it's, it's where it needs to be. Um, you know, we got the ball out, I think, maybe five times this year, something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I, it, it could be a lot better, man. We want to be the number one defense in the NFL, and uh, those defenses, you know, they're taking the ball out 
you know, all the time. So that's definitely something we gotta we gotta keep uh, harping on. Kaiser, I know I know in the NFL it's always next man up. And don't take this question as if I'm opening the door for excuses, but just hear me out. What are the challenges when you lose so many defensive linemen? And you got to bring guys up, and guys got to step up. And in the case of, like, a Roy Lopez, he's got to come off the street, and he's out there trying to stop Christian McCaffrey a few days later. What are the challenge? Yeah. What are the challenges for a football team when you're dealt that hand? I mean, like you said, man, next man up mentality. It's unfortunate guys are getting hurt. Uh, but in this business, we all get paid to do our job. So uh, next man up, you know. Nobody's looking at it like, oh, you know, it's all right. It's going to be a drop off, uh, you know, or, you know, you haven't been starting. Everybody, you know, looking at you to, you know, perform at the level those guys were performing at. So, you know, we don't really try to cut any slack to anybody. We know, like, coming off the street, that's difficult for sure. But, you know, with the next man up mentality, man, next guy in, roll him in, and let's play ball. You know what's amazing about this is I watch tape on you guys as I watch you play in your defense specifically right now the only critique i think i really have is tackling i think you Mm -hmm. guys could do a better job of tackling do you agree with that kaiser yeah yeah i definitely agree with that for sure yeah so so how does that happen do you guys talk about this kaiser are you talking about it with your defensive guys yeah we're definitely conscious of it uh you know uh you never taking your guys to the ground and practice and things like that you're thudding right. so uh you're not really like even though you're working on it it's still not real life you know what i mean so it's like you just got to get back to the fundamentals you know staying low you know running your feet you know getting your eyes to their hips uh when you're in space things like that just getting back to the basic and fundamentals because last time you know, we, we don't tackle. Like, we can't tackle during the week. You sure. know what I mean? So, right. yeah. Yeah, but what I, love, gotta... what I love, though, I can see you went to a wonderful university, of course, where <laughs> they taught you how to tackle. The greatest university. <laughs> <laughs> because blocking and tackling is so important right now. But this has got to be – it's got to be something that is – is modeled for everybody and i i look at you and i i think you are an excellent open field tackler and i think the Thank numbers you, the numbers would back me up on that are Thank you, you man. willing are it. you willing though kaiser to walk up on somebody look him in the eye and say dude you you got to you got to do better are for sure yeah for that? sure yeah. yeah i mean and 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 guys can do that to me as well you know captain and i like we all try to hold each other accountable yes. uh yeah we don't try to have oh you know all these egos where it's like oh you can't tell me nothing i'm this i'm that yeah. or i got more money than you you got less nah, it's not like that man we could we could talk to each other we could uh critique each other you know constructive criticism man it's not wrong with that you know, Kaiser, real quick, I got one more for you. It kind of leads me to my next question. I looked up the meaning of your name, Kaiser, and I found mm-hmm. it I found it means ruler or influencer, which I thought You know was, what's crazy? I never even knew what my name meant. Well, there you go. I'm, I'm here to help. I, like I kind of like that. See? I like that. Yeah, right. I like that a lot. Right. And I, I think I think that I think that's fitting. I, I don't know. I don't know if the, your parents knew that, but yeah, see, I mean, I'm sure I, I know my mom, uh, she definitely, uh, you know, did her research what the name means. But me personally, I never or maybe she did tell me and I just forgot. But uh, like I could I could if somebody asked me right now, what does your name mean? <laughs> well, uh, but to this point, I, I couldn't even tell them. Man. I just, well, t- I'm here to tell you it's ruler or influencer. I like and, that. Man. And, and yeah, you, man. you seem to have embraced a leadership role when when, <laughs> when when J.G. and Monty brought you in here. Did they ask you to do that? Because it certainly has been needed, especially with Buddha being out now. Yeah, so no, for weeks. sure. Yeah. Um, JG, yeah, that was JG driven. And, uh, you know, of course, I, I was going to say yes to that. Uh, this is my first time being a captain in the NFL. So, you know, it's an honor. And I definitely, you know, I want to, you know, do a great job at it, you know. All right, Kaiser White, man, appreciate it. Hey, listen, you learn something every day. There you go. For sure, man. I appreciate you guys, man. Enjoy yeah. your day. All right. Love and strength, Kaiser. <laughs> you got it. Kaiser White, Cardinals linebacker. All right, man, good luck on Sunday, brother. Okay.